Ho, 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 and Merry Almost Christmas. Here comes a tag video. Okay, I said almost Christmas, but technically you're watching this is after Christmas. We have a tag brought to you by Marta from the channel Marta, and it is the Christmas dinner, uh, Christmas dinner character tag. Uh, her video is going to be down below with the questions if anyone wants to do this tag. I said in a short um, last week, you know, I, I see Christmas being a thing until January 1st because there's always that that few days after Christmas where no one really knows what the hell's going on and we're all either um, chronically full or chronically hungover. So I'm going to do this a little after Christmas and I'm not going to feel guilty about it. Anyway, we're going to get started with question number one. Which one of your characters spends way too much money on gifts? That would be Darian. Out of out of all my characters, he would be the one who's like a more opulent just because he doesn't think about it. After 800 years, his wealth is kind of accrued. Um, and for example, let, I'm just going to use Kira, and, where she loves books. Darian would try his hardest to find the first edition book and of whatever book she is into, no matter the cost. Because that is just... Money is a thing that he has a lot of. So. Question two. Who gets bulk discounts and gives everyone the same gift? I would say Elizabeth. Mostly because Elizabeth is really bad at Christmas. Because she spent too much time like pre-story working. And during the series... Just all the stuff is going on. So she would try to make the best out of a crappy situation, last minute shopper, and get like, go to a grocery store and see what kind of bundles they have for like chips, for example. It's like, okay, I know what everyone's f favorite this is. So I'm going to get like one of each, but it's going to be a bulk discount and it's going to be great. Because she's also very frugal too by nature. So yeah, everyone would get the same gift. And if it was food, it would be a different flavor of the same kind of thing. If it's an actual thing, everybody needs toothpaste. I don't think she'd be that bad. Question three. Which one of your characters would make handmade gifts? I would say Kira. Kira, definitely. She's never really had her own money. And aside from like an allowance she would have like before her parents died, their parents died, and then after with Elizabeth. So practically, she would spend money on ingredients and make everyone a cookie basket or a muffin basket or just something like snack food related and that would be the christmas gift because it's cheaper to buy all the ingredients and then just make a buttload of whatever thing you want to give to everybody would that also count for question two if i twist it enough hmm question four who would pull the oh i didn't realize we were doing gifts so Originally, I was going to say Elizabeth because of her always being God nature and being crappy at Christmas. But then I um, started thinking about this as an AU, an alternate reality of if all of my characters got together for dinner. So we're going to say Christopher because he is insane, manipulative. And doesn't really give care about anybody else. So he would just show up being the gift. The gift is nobody's going to die this evening as far as he's concerned. So he didn't know people were doing gifts. Question five. Who wraps everything with the highest amount of bows? This would be, again, Kira. She, she loves Christmas. She loves giving. And if given the ability to have all the bows, even if she can, like, magically create them, since, again, poor with Darian's help, she would be the one double scotch tape, the, the box in a box in a box in a box, because it's funny, um, and just all the bows and the most elaborate shiny wrapping paper she could possibly get her hands on. Six. I don't know, where my, I don't know what my hands are doing. Uh, which character... Wraps their gifts in tinfoil. So my answer would be Richard. Um, tinfoil or wrapping paper, um, newspaper, just the cheap stuff. And they wouldn't be good gifts. 
It'd be like dollar store gifts. It'd be like, you know, the thing that's probably going to break in an hour, um, wrapped in newspaper. Because Henry doesn't care. Henry just wants to live his best vampire life and eat people. Christmas doesn't matter to Henry. Am I calling him Henry? Henry, that's his last name. Richard. Eh. Anyway, so yeah, no, six, Richard. He gives zero fucks, but is being forced to do this. So it's tinfoil. 100%. Question seven. Which character doesn't use wrapping paper and just ask people to close their eyes? I, th I would think we would say Darian for that. He What he would do is he would like magically conceal all the presents so you just can't see them. And then he would get you to close your eyes, hold out your hands, put it in your hands, and then say open your eyes, and then just release the spell as you're opening your eyes so it just kind of like apparates out of nowhere. That would 100% be a Darian thing to do. I was also going to say Draga, um, which is my biker uh, bar owner vamp character that I've almost never talked about, but she is a favorite among my beta readers because um, she would just have her this her biker backpack full of just random shit. It's like, okay, you close your eyes, have this. Okay, you close your eyes, have this. But then I just said I was trying to do one character for each option. I already broke my own rules. So the next se section is close. Who wears the full Santa costume? I originally was going to say Charles, but again, I've changed my rules and my script is a thing and all this stuff. So Sparkles. Sparkles would wear the Santa costume. If Drog is there, Sparkles is there. Um, Sparkles is one of my newer characters that I'm adding to this draft. Um, he is... Who coined? Comment down below if you are the one who called him a leather daddy, but he's basically he's a leather daddy. Um, if you've seen, uh, Legends of Vox Machina, kind of like a Gilmore-esque sort of character, but a vampire and a leather daddy. Um, but he would definitely wear the, the Santa hat and he would have the, the full suit and then the, the coat would be open. So you could see all like the harnesses and stuff. Um, cause he's just a big dumb sap who is just adorable little goofball teddy bear head. And he would totally be into it. Because why not? Who would look best in a Santa's hat for question number nine? Oh, okay. I, I looked down at my script. Charles. I picked Charles. Um, he would be wearing his Santa hat. And he would also... I had Because I had this mental image of him being in wolf form. Especially if Christopher and Richard are there. He would not trust himself to be in human form. Or not trust them to be in human form. He'd want to be in the defensive. So he would have this Santa hat with his big wolfy wolfy muzzle like pep white fur pep peppered with with dark dark browns and just a little hat on his head with his big blue eyes and also you know i figured i'd also nod to Anne because every time i pick charles i think i make her happy Qu question 10 food who is the head cook of the group I feel like it would be Charles because Charles would be hosting because the manor would be able to hold everybody and he loves cooking and just without thinking since werewolves have a very um, fast metabolism, he cooks big amounts for himself. So he is very familiar with um, ho having a big dinner for people. He just has to remember it's not all for him. He would he, he would probably like Kira help. But he is the one in control of the situation. And everybody loves his cooking, so it's like the best day ever. Question 11. Who is not allowed anywhere near the kitchen? Um, <laughs> Richard, Christopher, Darian. Okay, so pick the first two because they would be the ones to poison the food. Um, they would use this dinner as an excuse to try to kill the party, let's be honest. Also, Darian. Because Darian and Christopher are both traditionalists. They don't eat human food. They just drink blood because they're vampires and that's what vampires do. Richard is still human enough that he would eat. But so Charles would keep the vampires away from the kitchen because they don't know what they're doing. And question 12. Who gets to carve the turkey? I feel like a fight would break out for this for this answer because Christopher's the king so he should carve the turkey 
if we put Alex in, in this dinner, the the character who died before the story even began, she's technically supposed to be the rebel queen, so she should cook the turkey. I believe like half the characters would want to do that. Um, so there would be a. There, I think this dinner would end in a food fight. Um, or Elizabeth would would carve the turkey because she's the chosen one. Um, at the end of the fight, if the food is still on the table, Charles would, Charles would say he's going to cut the fucking turkey because this is his house and all the vampires can fucking leave. That is how my Christmas dinner would end. Is that part of the questions? No. Is that how I'm answering this last one? Yes. That was fun. And I absolutely really love the fact that Marta pulled this to get, put this, put this tag together and shared it. I didn't actually get tagged technically but i'm following danny's and katie's cop out well danny called it a cop out statement of um i tag you because it's getting really close to christmas even though i'm not gonna actually specifically tag anybody and i wanted to do this because i thought it'd be really funny so here we are so i'm gonna do the same thing as they they did and say if you want to do this uh tag even if Christmas Eve and Boxing Day have passed, and all that is left is the remainder part of December where it's coming toward the new year, you should do it too! Because this is super fun and I want to hear all about your characters and the, your stories and how this alternate reality or actual reality, if you would have a Christmas dinner, would actually turn out. Oh, I'm so glad to be back recording, guys. You have no idea. Um... Videos are going to come back, still working out some sort of schedule as I am, you know, trying to get working, but I'm no longer sick. I feel like a million bucks ish. Um, so we're back. Kind of. I said that last time. We'll see if this is true. Anyway, anyway, I got the rest of my Christmas preparations to prepare for the coming evening. So until next time. I love and appreciate every single one of you. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and whatever word you associate with you, you have yourself a very, very happy holiday season. And I will see you guys in whatever video or stream you catch me in next. Bye, guys!